We had noticed with the MLS class four laser that we had profound improvement in acute inflammation for problems with the joints, with muscles, tendons, etc. When the COVID epidemic struck, I thought, what would we, what about the idea of using the MLS class four laser for acute COVID? We thought we saw profound results for acute inflammation for injuries around the joints, and that was the natural reason. I then went to the hospital to my institutional review board which is the board that decides about research at the hospital. I told them about the idea of using the laser for COVID. They thought that it was a reasonable idea. However, because of the concerns, they wanted additional guidance from the FDA or the Federal Drug Administration. I then called the FDA to express the idea of using our laser for COVID. And over six days after sending them the specs of the laser, they came back that our laser was a non-significant risk device. It had already been cleared by the FDA for the use in the musculoskeletal system, and the fact that they redeclared it as non-significant risk allowed us to use the device in the hospital for acute COVID-19. Again, the problem as an orthopedic surgeon, I was using the laser for hips, for knees, and for backs, and was not really familiar with the correct dosage that we would need to be able to get to the lungs. I then consulted with Monica Monici, who is a professor of molecular biology at the University of Florence. I then also partnered with Sohela Makmali, as well as Mariana Vetrizzi, who are laser experts from Canada. We then got the appropriate dosage, got approval from the hospital, and then we used the laser for our patients with COVID. The safety profile for our MLS class four laser is outstanding. Uh, it's been used with this technology for over 10 years in the, in the United States with a perfect safety profile without any evidence of significant complication with the use of the device. And for that reason, we felt that it was going to be a safe option for our patients. I then brought my laser into the hospital. I donated the laser, so there was no financial uh, concern uh, whatsoever. We then uh, stratified the patients into two groups. Five were the treatment group and five were the control group. Uh, at that point, that's what the hospital had allowed us to do. The five patients that were treated with laser, the, the class four cold laser therapy that we use with MLS, had outstanding results and all were discharged from the hospital after four laser treatments. Once daily laser treatments for approximately 12 minutes per lung field, once a day for four days. All of the patients that were treated had profound improvement in their chest x-rays, their ability to oxygenate, and all of their pulmonary severity scores were dramatically improved with the use of the laser. Unfortunately, in the controlled group that did not receive laser, who just received standard care, those patients, three of which were admitted to the ICU, were intubated and unfortunately died. The other two patients in the control group have now subsequently uh, gone on to have long hauler or chronic symptoms, period. Again, I wanna emphasize that the five patients in the treatment group we're all essentially cured. None of them have long uh, sequelae. We're all discharged from the hospital within one day of treatment. Subsequent to this, two of those patients have been now, uh, have, have case reports which are peer reviewed. One in the American Journal of Case Reports. Another patient was also published uh, in the uh, Canadian Journal of Respiratory. Uh, and those two patients have been peer reviewed and been published. We have now finished the publication on the clinical trial that has been submitted for publication to the Journal of Inflammation Research, and we are in the final process of getting that uh, published at this time. So overall, I would say I was ex exceptionally pleased with the results that we have seen with underlying treatment of COVID-19 pneumonia with the use of our laser. Uh, I want to emphasize that there are numerous studies from around the world that have shown that laser treatment for the use of pulmonary disease in particular, such as COPD and asthma, have seen uh, profound results as well. Most recently, there's a study out of Russia now, which demonstrated that the Russian uh, therapy protocols are all using laser as part of the standard of care at this time and they have shown significant reduction in the time of the intensive care unit, as well as very positive results as well. I was thrilled to hear that the doctors from the Czech Republic that are involved in this presentation had similar results with their patients as well. I am confident that this type of MLS class four laser is a, a, an outstanding treatment option for patients that have acute COVID-19. We've now extended that to patients that have had chronic 
uh, long hauler syndrome. These are patients that have had continued uh, difficulty breathing well after the time in which they are contagious. And we've also had great success in treating those patients, reducing their pulmonary symptoms as well. So in, in, in conclusion, I would say that the MLS class four laser that we utilized, which was also being utilized uh, within, the, within the Czech Republic, is a safe and efficacious laser. We, we obtained FDA uh, clearance as a non-significant risk device. We've had no significant complications, and we've been able to show excellent efficacy and improvement in the pulmonary scores for patients that have COVID-19. It's been a pleasure to be able to talk to you, and I'd be more than happy to present this uh, data uh, as we have our clinical paper being published shortly. Thank you so much. Have a good day.